Prem 2 Sports Director Brenna Green joins us live this morning from the Lone Star State. Good morning, Brenna. I see even in Texas, you're still wearing the big hood to keep warm this morning. Yeah, you think you'd come to Texas and it would be uh, balmy. No. It's raining. It's in the 30s. Thankfully, this is going to turn around for the national championship game. It's supposed to be sunny and 60 that day. We are right outside Toyota Stadium where the national championship game is going to be held in just about 48 hours. Just as we left Eastern Washington yesterday to head to Frisco, so did the Eastern Washington Eagles. They loaded their bus around noon yesterday and took off from Cheney. They're here now and we're going to get to talk to them more today. But before they left yesterday, we also got to chat with the team during a moment that Ferris alum Cole Karstetter said finally made what is about to happen Saturday feel even more real. Uh, it's really exciting. You know, this only happened, you know, twice in school history, so it's, it's really special. And, you know, talking to some old guys that used to, you know, play and some guys that, you know, we used to know and coach for us, talking to them, it just makes it that much more special, you know. And then once you see all these fans come out here, you know, you really start to get a feel for, you know, this is the national championship now. It's starting to starting to build a little bit. <laughs> Of course, when a moment like that becomes even more real, it's bound to also be accompanied by another emotion. The butterflies are going to be there no matter what. I think, you know, it's, like I said, it's the national championship. You should be excited to come out here and play this game. And, uh, you know, just after that, you know, first snap goes, I think it's all just going to settle down until the end of the game. So <laughs> you get those butterflies like you're going to kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? Those, uh, you, know, you dress well, you feel good. Um, you're in a new environment, you know, play a new team, another champion uh, in this uh, in this playoff uh, year, 2018, our fourth. And so it, it's good. These guys are ready. We'll get a good practice, good sweat in tomorrow, uh, Friday walkthrough, and then we'll uh, we'll be ready to go Saturday. But this team insists, even though no one playing has ever been on this big of a stage before, they're going to be able to manage such a hectic and crazy week. I think it comes with experience, you know, me being here six years, I've just kind of learned how to control my emotions and handle it well. But, you know, being on a new stage, you know, it's just something I got to embrace on the fly. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different atmosphere, you know, just with all the media stuff and whatnot. But uh, as far as practice goes and game plan, you know, just try to keep that all the same and, you know, have something to kind of lean back on. <laughs> One final note, just like the WSU team we were down here covering in Texas just a few days ago, this Eastern team also definitely knows how to have fun, and that's not going to change here in Frisco either. There's got to be some fun, uh, but there's also got to be some professionalism. I think we've done a great balance of that the entire year uh, before practice, during practice, and after practice. And so couldn't be happier for the guys. Uh, they, they, they've earned the moment. This isn't deserved. Uh, this is earned. And uh, we, we've got to have some fun. So we've got to have some smiles along the way. That's, that's the way it's always been here, that we'll continue to do it that way. In our 6.30 hour, we're going to be diving more into the actual facts of this game, talking a little North Dakota State and also the 2010 run that this team went on to win a national championship. But for now, reporting at Toyota Stadium, I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.